overwhelm. Oh my god. Oh. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, Scotty RFD here. Today we're going to go down to the Sturgis Cycle and pick up a brand new motorcycle. Oh, it's my very first, well, first new motorcycle. I'm super, super pumped and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Let's go. Down to Sturgis. Let's go. Come on. One hour later. Oh, hello again. So, we made the trip down the Sturgis, but unfortunately, I was missing this. This, it's a GoPro battery. It is used to power my GoPro, which was not in my GoPro. So, we missed all the footage back home, but good news is, it's in the driveway. We're gonna do some B-roll clips, and uh, yeah, here we go. Let's get that B-roll going. Okay guys, here it is in the flesh, <laughs> once again obviously, uh, so it's a 2019 uh, Street Scrambler from Triumph, uh, it has a 900cc parallel twin engine, a liquid cooled engine uh, with 65 horsepower and 59 foot pounds of torque. Uh, on the front end you've got a KYB 41mm uh, uh, forks, not adjustable but it has cartridge dampening, also has a single Brembo. Uh, four piston caliper with a 310 millimeter floating disc. Uh, at the rear we've got two KYB shocks uh, with adjustable preload and the brakes just a single Nissan uh, two piston caliper with a 255 millimeter disc brake. Um, this bike does have riding modes as well. Uh, I think road and uh, wet. Road and wet, only two modes. Um, it's got a number of features too on the dash I'll go through them in a second. Uh, seat height is 790 millimeters. Uh, fuel tank's 3.17 gallons US. And this is a fusion white color for the tank. Okay, let's start her up. Always a triumph, gotta pull the clutch in. She sounds so good. <laughs> oh my god. It's got such a nice rumble to it. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have bow or yeah, let's get those uh get those silencers out of the exhaust. It's such such a such a nice like kind of rumbly-ish sound to it. Oh my god. Um so we've got a digital RPM gauge. Uh it comes with this model and I think the street twin. Um but as long as you have like the modes, it comes with the option. I think one of the Street Twins I test rode didn't have the RPM just because it didn't have one of those modes. So you go on road, see it blinks to rain, we switch it, and actually just one button, one press, so that's fantastic. And it goes to road, just like that, that easy. Uh, your info button, cycle through your mode, kilometers, kilometers for your trips, uh, liters per hundred, we're not using that, it's a live liter. Oh, that's what we've done so far. And fuel till empty, 90 kilometers. As well as your time, which is not set. And back to kilometers. Alright guys, let's take this thing for a quick little spin. I'm not going to do, excuse me, a full ride today. Uh, just kind of around the block per se. See my messy GoPro setup. Uh, just around the block, see how it feels. Uh, we did get Sturgis to drop it off. Oh, that's nice. We did get Sturgis to drop it off of the house. Uh, it was looking a bit wet and rainy uh, on the way down there, so just might as well as quick. Uh, also came with a number of kind of goodie bags as well. It's uh, show them later on in the video when we get home after. 
but right away this clutch feels absolutely smooth it is a slipper clutch system um, so it's supposed to help you off the off the, um, the line but uh, just shifting right there it is one of the, probably the smoothest clutches I've ever felt in a very long time even the shifts too they feel very very tactile when you're going from neutral first and second and all uh, mirrors look really good too it's a it's a pretty comfortable riding but I mean it's obviously related to the Bonneville it's the same platform as all those um, so you're not gonna be racing you're gonna be really upright sitting back and super super nice I mean getting full wind oh yeah full full wind effect for this one but uh, I'm sure a screen or something along those lines would really help out oh yeah really smooth let's see how the brake is on it oh yeah this uh, that bike does have ABS too man that a lot of bite on that front brake my god like, it is Brembo I guess but you know you know coming from a, a speed triple a dual dual Brembo's it's kind of you know leaves you hanging or leaves you wondering that's for sure this bike a couple more things has four ways I've never had four ways on a bike before uh, your high beam low beam man oh man mirrors have to go I'll tell you we do have uh, quite a few modifications coming up for this thing I bought some items already but I'm waiting for some others to come in the mail down the road and I am uh, you know doing my own thing with this thing I'm painting a few different colors on it and uh, yeah just kind of doing a few different colors on it and see how it uh, how it goes how it turns out um, This bike ended in a break-in period uh, for the first, I said, 1,200 kilometers on it uh, with the post oil change. Uh, so I won't be going too crazy, but uh, it does feel good. It's, I mean, it is feeling like a light bike, so as little as the horsepower is, it's, it definitely puts a smile on your face. And it's kind of the whole reason I bought this thing too. I mean, it's just something different, something to put around on. I'm not thriving to go fast or crazy on it and something to put the girlfriend on the back and and as well even just you know take the first dirt road I see and you know have at her I mean it's, it's very versatile <laughs> oh my god that's awesome that sound is just I, I, I can't wait to get an exhaust on this thing guys it's gonna change it and sound so raspy. I've seen a few guys out there with street scramblers and they throw the X pipe uh, or the performance, uh, just the straight headers and uh, rest of exhaust on and it, it sounds just delicious. I think because of the bigger tire in the front, it makes it so flickable like through the, that's what I liked about it too. I mean, kind of you get the off-road tires with it and it just feels super super planted all around I mean super comfy too I mean even though the shocks are not adjustable it is a softer I feel riding softer riding after all so definitely helps with your kind of in-town commute if you will and I'm really not too far bent forward not too are really slouched back the seat is a bit deceiving because you feel like you could really move up and you can but you've got a lot of a lot of space to go around on and it feels the most comfy it's kind of uh, towards the back Turn signals feel a bit not as tactile, um, but the shifting is just lightning. It shifts so crisp. I don't know if being a new bike. Oh yeah, 
It's only a five-speed gearbox too, so it's uh, but it handles itself really well. I mean, it doesn't feel like it has to go up too high in the RPM range. I just, I don't know, it's just just a really fun cruiser bike, <laughs> putting around bike. That's what, that's what it is. It almost just really feels like a dirt bike, like almost like a mini dirt bike. <laughs> but you got comfort, your low seat height. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, hope you like, subscribe, and uh, many more things to come. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today. Uh, have a great rest of your week, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys, bye.